Hi everyone, it's Mike here from Printable Scenery. Today I'm going to show you how print grouping works in Terrain Tinker. For this I've constructed this guardhouse, which is a pretty large building. I wouldn't normally be able to print it on my printer bed. Um, and you can print it as separate open lock pieces like we've been traditionally doing. However, now print grouping allows you to select certain parts of a structure and group them together for printing as a single piece, which has tons of advantages. To show you how to do it, we go 3D print button up in the top corner here. And we've got separate pieces with open lock clips, which is our other option. If we select single combined model per floor, we've got this set print groups here. What you do is hit new and every piece I select will be colored orange. That's this print group. If I want to make another print group, just hit new and it will color them differently to make a different print group. You can have as many print groups as you like. There are 10 different colors, but if they're not touching then it will make it a different print group when you export the file. So I'm going to go through and create this building in two different print groups. So now that I've selected the entire building into different print groups, except for that little guy there, it's very easy to change where your print groups are. All you have to do is select the print group you'd like and left click over which area you want it to be. Or if you want to change it or deselect it, just left click again and it will clear it. Once you're happy with all of your different print groups, all you do down the bottom here is hit save and prepare 3D print. As simple as that. I'll start printing my guardhouse and you guys start creating and printing your own buildings too. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful.